Hello everyone, my name is QCode and welcome back to our Love Lua Tutorially Series thingy, episode 10 now! Ooh, double digits. And today I'm going to be going over Advanced Collision. Open up my main file here, as always. So the specific type of collision I'm going to be going over is called AABB, which stands for Axis Aligned Bounding Box, which basically means two squares on squares that aren't rotated. <coughs> There's a useful function on this that you can copy paste from the Love Wiki, I'll link it in the description, which will calculate and return if two squares are colliding. True if they are, false if they're not. I'm going to save this in, I'm going to put two dashes, that adds a comment, and I'm just going to write, not by me, just because that's nice to know if anyone's reading your source code. I'm going to add a table into love.load and call it points. And now I'm going to say inside of that, I'm going to put another table, x equals um, 300, y equals 400. And I'm going to reset the dog positions to 0 and 0, just for convenience, so I know that they're not going to be colliding with the points. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to loop through all of the points, you should remember how to do this from the loops episode. Do, end, and I'm going to draw a rectangle for each of the points you can collect. I brought up the wiki page for the rectangle, that too will be linked in the description. As you can see it's syntax is log.graphics.rectangle, mode, which is either fill or line, it says that on here, fill, line, x, y, width and height. So I'm going to write love.graphics.rectangle in here. So I'm going to say fill uh, v.x, v.y, and then 15, 10 and 10. 50 would be a bit big. And as you can see there, there's that white little dot which will be a point. Nothing happens when I pass over it just yet. But what I'm going to do is make it so when you collect it, it goes away. So inside blob.update, I'm going to put for i, v in pairs points, do, end, so now we're going through all the different points that you might collect and checking if each one is colliding with the dog. So it's check collision, x1, y1, width1, height1, that's going to be our dog, so dog location dot x, dog location dot y, dog location dot width, and dog location dot height, and then the last four variables we put in there are x2, y2, width2, and height2. Those are going to be the ones linked to the point that we're collecting. So v dot x, v dot y, and then 10 and 10 because we don't have variables for that. So I'm going to put this inside of an if statement. If check collision, then then we're going to print true. There you go, when you're colliding, it prints true. I guess I'll put else, print false, end. So it prints false, when you're going over it, it prints true. You can see it change. Thank you everyone for watching this episode. Next episode is going to be a bit longer, we're going to be going over how to make this into a bit more of an actual game. We're going to make the points disappear when they're collected. We're going to add randomly spawning points each time you collect one of them. And we're going to add a counter for how many points you've collected. So thank you everyone for watching, and I hope to see you all next time. Bye.